If you think loving her was hard, try forgetting her. You know, Tommy has only loved one woman, and that was Grace. So I'm going to leave it at that for the real fans. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode today on V-City. My name is Peter Ujum, and today we're talking about the Peaky Blinders. This series is based on that family, the Peaky Blinders family. Uh, that's that's the gangster name, and uh, it's the Shelby family. The idea here is that they rise, they go from gra- they go from grass to grace. Even though this TV show started off pretty slow, it got my attention. After like the first three episodes, I I became kind of hooked, and I want to read to you some of the most savage replies. These guys, the writers are amazing. And just before we go on, don't forget to give this video a like and let's get going. So you think I'm a whore? Everyone's a whore, Grace. We just sell different parts of ourselves. This is deep when you think about it. You know, you're you're selling your data from your phone. You're selling yourself when you go to the office. You want people to like you on Instagram. Everyone's selling themselves somehow. We're all selling something. We both lost something. You lost me and I lost time. He was like, I got so close, so close. He had, he almost had everything. He'll have everything he wants, likely by the end of the series, hopefully, because he's putting a lot of effort. But because he has taken away from so many people, he won't have rest. He won't have peace. How to kill someone? Fill them with love, then leave. So this must have been when he did the dance with her. This was the wedding when they had the big wedding and she invited her family. Walk like a king or like you don't give an F. Who's the king? Oh, okay. I know this one. There's no rest for me in this world, perhaps in the next. I like how he's Uh, I like how Tommy, the writers write Tommy in a way that he's aware of his wrongs. He he has chosen the path of of unrighteousness and he's willing to pay the price. So he knows any day now he's going to leave this world. So he's just going to make the most use of it. If you apologize once, you do it again and again and again, like taking bricks out of the wall of your effing house. There's a lot of swearing in this show. So if you don't like that, then don't watch the show. When trust is broken, sorry means nothing. Who broke his trust? These days, people tell me things without even speaking. This, I believe, was when no one wanted to listen to him. And so he basically was able to, he started just reading people. He just basically read everyone. And I think that's in the last season five. There's only one thing you could that could blind a man as smart as you, Tommy. Love. This definitely came from season one or season two. The detective, the major, Major Campbell, had an upper hand on Tommy. Polly, Polly has one of the best one-liners. Her one-liners are great. She knows what to say almost every time. Polly got it right. There's only one thing that could blind a man as smart and as cunning as you, Tommy. And that's love. The less I care, the better I feel. For a man like Tommy... The less he cares, the better for him, just because he has so many enemies and it's so easy for the enemies to use his own people against him. And this is where he said, these are just feelings, they'll go away. I like how Tommy tries to be as rational as possible, but yet there's just that mushy human part of him that tries to jump out every now and then. When you hear by order of the Peaky Blinders, they're not joking. Yes, this place is under new management by order of the Peaky Blinders. Oh, I remember this one by Chester Campbell. He said, men like us, Mr. Shelby, will always be alone. And love, and what love we get, we will have to pay for. That was because, spoiler, um, Major Campbell was in love with Grace. As well as Tommy Shelby, who fell in love with Grace. And that was a problem. You know, I was rooting for Inspector Campbell, but then he messed up like he was he was the organized good guy. And Tommy was the bad guy who was also organized. So they were like the antithesis antithesis of each other. Well done, Peaky Blinders. Well done. 